And as Charles Stratford found out in Aksai in southern Kyrgyzstan, it's a result of the messy borders left after the Soviet era. The Isfara River, looking south towards the Pamir Alai Mountains. The road winds through a mountain landscape that Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan have repeatedly fought over because borders here are indistinct. The burnt-out military and civilian vehicles are evidence of the most recent fighting. What started as an argument between Kyrgyz and Tajik villagers about control of a water pump escalated into a battle between two armies. Houses and schools were destroyed, at least 50 people were killed and tens of thousands fled their homes. I was in the house when I heard shooting in the village. When the Tajik soldiers came, I left. Close by, 20 kilometers inside Kyrgyzstan, is a part of Tajikistan. This is the border post for the Tajik territory of Varuk. It is home to around 30,000 Tajiks, and the area is completely surrounded by Kyrgyz territory, and it has become the flashpoint for a border dispute that has its roots in the Soviet past. Voruk is one of two Tajik exclaves inside Kyrgyzstan. Borders are complicated because Soviet mapmakers drew lines between republics of the USSR. And when the Soviet Union collapsed, they became the blueprint for boundaries of independent states through which waterways and farmland crossed. Thirty years later, only around half the thousand-kilometer frontier between Kyrgyzstan and Tajikistan is demarcated. As local populations have grown, so has the competition for land and water. And villages are worried fighting could start again. My family were evacuated. I don't know whether to bring them back. It seems like our neighbors consider us the enemy. We face unexpected attacks. A nearby village is almost deserted, with each side blaming the other for the violence. One side of the village is Kyrgyz, the other is Tajik. The shooting started in the middle of the night. The Kyrgyz started it by throwing stones at our soldiers. I tried to flee, but it was too dangerous. Analysts say it will take more than political will to resolve the issue. The situation is very dangerous, and we saw what sort of an intensity the conflict can take at the end, uh, the, uh, at the end of April. It takes a lot of uh, very principled and very uh, uh, clever diplomatic work by both governments to prevent another escalation. Reminders of how lethal this border dispute can be litter the mountainside. Communities more distrustful and divided than before.